Jaya Radha Radha Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Radha Kunja Jaya Gopi Janavallabha Giri Vardhari Jaya Gopi Janavallabha Giri Vardhari Yashoda Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Yashoda Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Ya Shodanandana Braja Jana Ranjana Ya Mona Chira Jai Shri Jai 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 Jai
गोपाल नाथ जी जगन्नाथ जय बलदेव जय भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो टुडे वी विल बी सर्विंग ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम न्यू चैप्टर स्टार्ट्स टुडे चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम द टेंथ कैंटो एंटाइटल द लॉर्ड्स पास टाइम्स आउट ऑफ वृंदावन ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय टुडेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टेक्सिस्टे
उद्धव उद्धवाचा स्वापित्रो माता जी पुरम स्वापित्रो चिकीर्षया संबल देव संयुक्ता निपात्य तुंगा द्रिपुयुत नाथं अतं व्यकर्षाद्वयसं ओजस्वर्यम् Translation and purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ji Ki Jai. Kindly repeat word to word meaning, please. Uddhav Uvacha. Sri Uddhav said, Tattaha. Thereafter, Saha. The Lord. Agatya, coming, Uram, to the city of Mathura, Swapitroho, own parents, Chikirshaya, wishing well, some, well-being, Baladeva Samyutaha, with Lord Baladev. Nipatya, dragging down, Tungat, from the throne, Ripu Yutha Natham, leader of public enemies, Hatam, killed, Vakarsat, pulled, Vyasum, dead, Ojasa, by strength, Urvayam, on the ground. Translation by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ji Ki Jai. Sri Uddhav said, Thereafter, Lord Krishna went to Mathura city with Sri Baldev. And to please their parents, they dragged Kamsa, the leader of all public enemies, down from his throne and killed him. Pulling him along the ground with great strength. Purport by his divine grace. Shri Prabhupada Ji Ki Jai. King Tamsa's death is only briefly described here because such pastimes are vividly and elaborately described in the 10th canto. The Lord proved to be a worthy son of his parents even at the age of 16 years. Both brothers, Lord Krishna and Lord Baldev, went to Mathura from Vrindavan and killed their maternal uncle, who had given so much trouble to their parents, Vasudev and Devki. Kamsa was a great giant, and Vasudev and Devki never thought that Kamsa, that Krishna and Balram, Baldev, would be able to kill such a great and strong enemy. When the two brothers attacked Kamsa on the throne, their parents feared that now Kamsa would finally get the opportunity to kill their sons, whom they had hidden for so long in the house of Nanda Maharaj. 
the parents of the Lord, due to parental affection, felt extreme danger and they almost fainted. Just to convince them that they had actually killed Kamsa, Krishna and Bal Baldev pulled Kamsa's dead body along the ground to encourage them. Om Jnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Shalakhaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manoya Vishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Gadamahiyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan, Sahagana Lalita, Shri Vishakha, Vitamscha, Aradhyo Bhagwan of Rajeshatanayas, Taddham of Rindavanam, Ramyaka Chidupasana, Rajuvati Vargena, Tayakalpita, Shri Mata Bhagwata Purana Yamalam, Prema Pumar to Mahan. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matayitam Nayatrayagraha Paraha Ajanu Lambito Bhujo Kanakaya Vidhato Sankirtanai Pitaravo Kamalaya Taksho Vishwambaro Dvijavaro Yugadharma Palo Vande Jagatapriyakaro Karunaya Vataro Navani Radha Nindita Kanti Dharam Raso Sagar Nagar Rupavaram Shubhavanki Macharu Shikhanda Shikhim Bhaja Krishna Nidhim Vrajaraja Sutam Radhika Saroda Indu Nindi Mukha Mandali Vandiye Shri Pada Padma Vrishabhanu Nandini Vandiye Shri Pada Padma Vrishabhanu Nandini Vandiye Shri Pada Padma Vrishabhanu Nandini My obeisance is unto all the Vaishnavas assembled, all the listeners online and in presence in New Vrindavan Dham. My hundreds of obeisances to my senior Vaishnavas, Shri Prabhupada disciples, my thousands and thousands of obeisances to His Divine Grace Shri Prabhupada and our Brahma Madhu Gaudiya Sampradha Acharyas. May the words that emanate from my mouth be pleasing to them and very much in line with the essence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's bhava or teachings. So, the translation one more time, Sri Uddhav said, Thereafter, Lord Krishna went to Mathura city with Sri Baldev, and to please their parents, they dragged Kamsa, the leader of public enemies, down from his throat and killed him, pulling him, pulling him along the ground with great strength. So, uh, this is a very wonderful uh, conversation that is happening between Uddhav, the best friend of Krishna, a pure devotee, and also with another pure devotee, Vidur. And we just saw some of the very important points or the uh, the verses that were there in the previous chapter, wherein um, it is described that how uh, Vidur is asking some amazing questions 
uh, about the pastimes of Sri Krishna. And the moment Uddhav hears this question, he goes into a trance. He actually cannot speak anything momentarily. And there are tears flowing from his eyes. And he displays the different astrosatvic vikaras the eight different bodily symptoms when one goes into a deep trance, into samadhi, just thinking about Krishna, what should he say, where should he start? Because Krishna is unlimited. And Rupa Goswami and even Lord Baldev himself says that even if I had thousands and thousands of mouths, and thousands and thousands of years, I am not able to describe Krishna's glories. So sometimes we find that even, although we are on a very much, on a very, very little scale as speakers, you know, on a certain exalted subject matter, it's extremely difficult to kind of, you know, compress everything in like 40 minutes and present it to the audience, to the devotees. So sometimes it's a dilemma. And of course, for personalities like Uddhav, it is just overwhelming. It is because of separation, the vipralamba bhav. Uh, vipralamba bhav or separation brings about such great pain and happiness simultaneously. And that is the reason why sometimes Devotees are dumbstruck. They're not able to speak anything, just thinking about Vrindavan, thinking about Krishna. Here we have Lord Jagannath, Baldev Subhadra Devi. Why are the forms like that? Uh, their eyes widened, the jaws dropping, the hands going inside the astrosatvic vikars, just thinking about, hearing about Vrindavan from Mother Rohini when they were in Dwarka. Such is the deep. Uh, we sing every day in the Mangalarti, Romancha Kampa Ashru Taranga Bhajo, Vande Guru Sri Charnaravinda. The symptoms were when a pure Vaishnava is so much engrossed in Krishna's Katha, in Krishna's Kirtan, in Krishna's Katha Shravanam, then their horripilation, hair stands on an end on their body. They get goosebumps. Uh, Romancha, Kampan, shivering happens. Uh, Ashuru Taranga, uh, tears flow like rivulets, like rivers from their eyes. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, Kriba, my Prabhu, and Venkat Prabhu, you can confirm this. One time, Shri Prabhupada sang Jai Radha Madhav, and he just went into that Astasatvic Vikar, and he could not even sing anymore. Uh, just tears streamed. That was a very amazing, you know, rare display. Generally, our acharyas don't display that, but it happened. It's spontaneous. And it happened in public. So similarly, Uddhav is feeling that separation, thinking about Krishna. And he starts by telling Vidur about how the Yadus were, in one sense, although they were so close to him and they were relatives of Krishna, they did not understand Krishna no better between a moon and a fish. That's the analogy that is used. And also, he mentions about the different persons who had come in at the Rajasuya Yajna of Yudhishthira Maharaj, uh, different kings, different ministers, devotees, Brahmins, so many of them had, had come and they saw Krishna, such a beautiful personality. And most of them thought that this was Brahma's most perfect creation. So, you know, we have to, you know, uh, this is, so we are so fortunate, let's let's put it that way, that his divine grace, Prabhupada, gave us Krishna as it is, in his original form, Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Vajami. Uh, with this beautiful shamam tribanga lalitam niyat prakasham, uh, like the three-band beautiful form, the 
the origin of everything, Janmadi Yasya, as the Vedanta Sutra starts with these two words in Srimad Bhagavatam, also starts the very first verse with these two words. Everything emanates from Sri Krishna Nanda Nanda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead in Golok Vrindavan. So we are very fortunate to have that information and the capability to worship through Nam, Sankirtan, along with Vaishnavas, deity worship, etc. Uh, maybe, perhaps, we may have performed so many austerities in our past lives. Somehow or the other, uh, that is the reason why we have this opportunity uh, to face Krishna as it is. Otherwise, there are so many spiritualists or transcendentalists who do not get that opportunity right away. And perhaps for eons and eons, for many, many births, they will never, those who are Mayavadis, Brahmavadis, etc. Uh, it is very difficult for them to conceive. And especially even those who are, who are within the, the realm of the Vaikuntha worship of opulence, they will perhaps never see this sweet form of Krishna and his sweet pastimes. Lord Krishna, in Golok Vrindavan, the original Supreme Personality of Godhead has 64 super excellent qualities. Whereas all the other altars of Krishna, they have 60 qualities. Uh, Lord Shiva, uh, he's got 55 qualities. And any human being or a demigod, the highest qualities that they can get is 50. And Lord Brahma has got 50. So, even if we look at all the Vaikuntha Adipatis, Lord Narayanas, Vishnu, and all the different avatars, even Lord Ramachandra, they are non-different from Krishna, definitely, but still, Krishna has got four additional super excellent qualities. Madhurya Venu, he's got this beautiful flute that Lord Ramachandra, nor Lord Vishnu, nor Narayana, uh, do they, they do not display that. And and the Venu is very magical. It is so sweet that it attracts. Yesterday, Venkat Bhatt Prabhu gave a nice class on the, the Gopal and the cows and how he attracts the cows, how he attracts the gopis. Vishwanath Chakruti Pad has mentioned about the Ashtasuras, the eight, eight suras or the eight notes. Uh, the Pancham Sur attracts the gopis and the fourth Sur attracted the cows, right? And the eighth suit, the eighth note, especially for Sri Radha, for Radharani. So like this, uh, the gopis are so, so jealous of the flute uh, because uh, they're all, this flute is constantly uh, caressed by Krishna's lips. <laughs> so they sometimes, you know, so in the transcendental world, everything is chitta. It's full of consciousness. Here we have animate and inanimate. So there the flute is also a Vaishnava. Uh, Vipina Mahu Murali Hata Saji. So she is a female actually. Uh, one of our Rachers uh, composed a wonderful uh, on Venu Geet. Uh, in the forest, Krishna is adorned. Uh, Murali Hata Saji. Saji is female uh, in Sanskrit or Hindi. This is in Raj Bhasha, this particular song. Navala Kishoro, Navala Manamohana, Navala Swara, Vamshi Bhaji, Navala Kishore, Krishna, Krishna always looks so youthful, always fresh, always new. Uh, like what is that verse in the Brahma Samhita? Uh, Prabhupada said he's not an old man as most of the other faiths depict. Uh, he is, uh, uh, what is that verse? Uh, it's just on my tongue, but I'm Advaita Machuta Manadi Mananta Rupam Adhyam Purana Purusham. He is the oldest, but now Yavanamcha. He is always ever fresh and youthful uh, and always fresh when he appears mm -hmm. in front of the Gopis, in front of the of Radharani. Navala Swara Vamshi Bhaji. Uh, and every time he plays the flute with the Gopis, calling them Navala Swara, new, new notes. Can you believe that? Every time he calls them, and it's very, very enchanting, so sweet. Navalaswar Vamshi Badi. So like this, the flute, Krishna's three-band form, his beauty and his fame is unparalleled to any other avatar. That is why these are the four super excellent qualities that are extra in him. So like this, we find that uh, 
we are so fortunate to have information about that form of the Lord, about that swarup of these pastimes, etc. Uddhav briefly tells Vidur about how he appeared in the jail of Kamsa and how he was transported to Gokul by Vasudev and, uh, and how when Krishna uh, grew up, his little pastimes were different pastimes, including he mentions about the Kalia Daman Leela, how he subdued the Kalia snake, how he tended the cows. We heard about that elaborately yesterday. Uh, his sweet pastimes. And also how he actually uh, played with the gopis in the Ras Leela in Vrindavan. So all these wonderful uh, brief descriptions are given. And then now he has come to the point where he is describing the killing of Kamsa. Krishna and Balram, uh, Akrur comes to Vrindavan. Uh, and Akrur is sent, he's the charioteer, he's one of the ministers also. As a charioteer, he comes to pick up Krishna Balram for, on an invitation sent by the Bhojraj, Kansa. Uh, he's known as Bhojraj also, of the Bhoj dynasty. Also, he's in the Vrishni dynasty. So the idea was to kill him due to all the unsuccessful methods uh, that, that he had employed earlier, right from Putna, when Krishna was only a little infant, to the different uh, ways that he tried to kill uh, the son of Nanda and, and Vasudev, uh, both actually. There is a secret here. Uh, I don't know if a lot of us know this or not, but Shravishwar Chakradi Thakur and in the Hari Vamsh it is mentioned, even Rup Goswami and Sanatana Goswami mentioned that the Krishna that was born in Mathura is Vasudev Krishna, the son of Vasudev. When Vasudev takes him at the stroke of midnight in Gokul, and at that time, due to the influence of Yogmaya, all the residents of Mathura go to sleep. Everybody. The gates automatically open. The prison guards, they go to fall asleep. And uh, Vasudevji crosses over the, the Jamuna and he reaches Gokul with his son, Vasudev. So when he comes to Gokul, he enters Nanda Bhavan. And there also there is pin drop silence. Everybody has fallen asleep. Yogmaya has just cast an amazing spell. And out comes out a very, very divine light in one particular room. So then that's where it, he, he was directed. Perhaps that's where I need to go. Uh, that aura that was emanating. And when Vasudev reaches there, he sees Mother Yashoda in a deep slumber. Uh, also because of the maternity labor, pain, and etc. So, and then he sees one beautiful baby girl. But actually, our Acharyas say, that Mother Yashoda gave birth to twins. Yes, this is a Gaudiya secret. Many people are not privy to this information. And when our Acharyas like Rup Goswami endorse it, Vishwanath Chakruti Pad, he endorses. Even Srila Prabhupada has mentioned, those who have heard Srila Prabhupada's purport on Bhajahu Re Mana, Sri Nanda Nandana, Abhay Charna Ravindare, that song Prabhupada sang it so nicely. And he has given... Uh, more than one explanation or more than one class, I would say, on that bhajan. In one of the classes or one of the purposes, he says, Bhajahu Re Mana Shri Nanda Nandana. So Nanda, we are we should worship Nanda Nandan. There are many types of Krishna, but we are only concerned with the son of Nanda Maharaj. His divine wish Prabhupada's words. So when he when he, when so when he sees Yoga Maya actually covers Yashoda Nandan. Yashoda Nandan is sleeping on one side and Yogamaya is sleeping on the other side of Yashoda Maya. And he only sees the baby girl and he exchanges for Vasudev Krishna. Now what happens as soon as Vasudevji leaves, at that time, Vasudev Krishna merges into Nanda Nandan. He merges into Nanda Nandan Krishna. And then all the sweet pastimes start in Gokul, in Nandagram, in, in, in Vrindavan, and many places of Govardhan, many places of Raj, these, these wonderful sweet pastimes happen. 
Now, it is also mentioned that whenever Krishna kills a demon, it is Vasudev Krishna who kills the demons, not Nanda Nandan. Because Vasudev Krishna is present within Nanda Nandan. He is merged into him. And not only that, when Akrur comes to pick them up, and when he is taking them to Mathura, on the border of Vrindavan and Mathura, Akrur bows down to Vrindavan Dham, to the devotees, to the trees, to the, to the dust of Sri Vrindavan, uh, that he was so fortunate to come there. And, and while he's bowing down, an amazing thing happens. Nanda Nandan and Vasudev Krishna, they separate. And Nanda Nandan goes kind of incognito in the bhav state. He remains in Vrindavan. Ekam padam nagachati Vrindavan. He does not even take a step out of Vrindavan. Uh, the Govinda Madhi Purusham, the Nanda Nandan, the Radha Raman, uh, the, our Radha Vrindavan Chandra, uh, they never ever step out of Vrindavan because the Vrindavan is, the, is his life and soul. The Vrajvasis are his life and soul. Vrajvasis means not only the gopis, the gopas, the goes, the cows. Yesterday we were talking about a definition of Gokul. What does Gokul mean? Go means the cows, the conglomeration or the where there's a group of cows, many, many cows are there. But also Gokul means uh, where there are gopis, where there are gopas. Uh, that is the meaning of Goku. So his deep love for them is so amazing that he does not he, he does not leave Vrindavan. Eh? Yesterday Prabhuji mentioned that it's a reciprocation, you know. It's just not that devotees love Krishna, but Krishna also loves the devotees. Krishna can't, can't stay without the devotees. So he goes into incognito. This is a very high stage for us to kind of, you know, assimilate, but he stays within with as in a bhav state in separation, he is there at the same time he's not there. His presence is just like the achintya bheda bheda tattva. It's very difficult to conceive simultaneous. He's there and at the same time he's not physically present, but he is even more intensely present in the separation, in the vipralamba bhav. So Vasudev, now Krishna along with brother Baldev, they go to Mathura. And in Mathura, it is described in the 44th chapter of the 10th canto, where Prabhupada mentions more details are given. And at that time, um, they are approached, Kansa sitting on a very high throne, and here he's got his demoniac advisors as well as wrestlers, Mustika and Chanur. So Krishna deals with Chanur and kills him. Uh, Baldev kills with many, many blows and fists. Uh, it was a very, very uh, intense wrestling match. Very kind of, we can say, cruel to see. And especially the 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 young and, and, and the old uh, Mathuravasis that were there, they were actually cursing Kamsa. This is not fair. These young boys, they have to deal with such huge, giant uh, wrestlers, you know, and they were actually cursing Kamsa. And, and, and they... They uh, they were hoping that you know uh, uh, something would happen, and and of course Krishna and Balram within the hearts, knowing their desire, like the words that are used that that Sri Prabhupada has mentioned here in the translation, that for the the had actually killed Kamsa, Krishna and Baldev pulls Kamsa's dead body dead body along the ground to encourage their parents because the parents were thinking. My boys, Devki and Vasudev, they were thinking that my boys, Kansa is so powerful, he can kill them so easily. That's what their Vatsalya bhav, their parental love, their, their fear was constantly there. So uh, after killing Mustik and Chanura, there were other three major demons, Toshal, etc. I think that was their name. One of them, he came and Baldev Prabhu killed them. And then Krishna jumped on the throne and, and kicked Kansa and killed him with a lot of fists and blows and then pulled him by the hair and dragged him to assure his parents and all the other, all the, all the other devotees that, yes, this powerful demon, I have killed him. He displayed that. 
Now, we have to, um, and Srila Prabhupada mentions in the 44th chapter that after Kans was killed, generally when demons are killed, they are, they get, they get Sahaja Mukti. Sahaja Mukti means it is that liberation where uh, they merge into the Brahman or the undifferentiated uh, energy of the Supreme Lord known as the light, Brahma Jyoti, uh, most of the demons. Uh, um, in one of the verses in the previous chapter, I think it is verse 24, uh, Uddhav says that the, even the demons are so fortunate that they get the lotus feet uh, of Krishna, something to that extent. Actually, let me quickly uh, read that. I consider the demons who are inimical toward the Lord to be more than devotees because while fighting with the Lord, absorbed in the thoughts of enmity, they are able to see the Lord carried on the shoulder of Garuda, the son of Tarsya, Kashyapa, and carrying the wheel weapon in his hand. So the demons are in one sense, you know, here the bhav is expressed that they are uh, fortunate uh, because they get to, uh, even in their anger, even even in their even in their even in their their fit of anger and their animosity, they are constantly thinking of Krishna, and and therefore uh, they are in one sense more fortunate. In one bhajan, Thakur Bhakti Vinod mentions, if you all know this bhajan, Gopina Mama Nivedana Shuno. In that, in the end. Thakur Bhakti says, Pai lo charana asura sakala Pai lo charana asura sakala Vino de thaki lo boshi gopinath Mama ni vedana suno Pai lo charana asura sakala The demons obtained your lotus feet. Because every time Krishna fights, you know, he kicks them, he touches them. Pailo Charana Asura Shakala, all the demons, whether you in your original form or in the form of different avatars, they got the advantage of your lotus feet. Pailo Charana Asura Shakala, we know they thakilo bosi. But here Bhakti Vinod Thakur is saying in a very humble state, I have just resigned. You know, I'm waiting for your mercy. Huh? We know they thakilo. Thakilo means now I'm tired. You know, just waiting for your mercy. Even the demons have got it. So this is the 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 bhav of the exalted acharyas. And here one thing to note is, Prabhupada mentions that Kansa did not get that sahijya mukti. He mentioned that he got liberation in the dham of Krishna or in Vaikuntha Loka, wherein he got the form of the Lord. So the form of the Lord, it indicates meaning it is Vaikuntha, which is known as the Sarupya Mukti. Sarup means the form that is exactly like the Lord. Like we see when we enter the temple, Jai Vijay, uh, the four-handed form, they just exactly look like Vishnu or Narayana. You cannot even distinguish them when you are in Vaikuntha, who is Lord Narayana, except there are a few chinhas or few Indications about the coast of money, about the Sri Vatsa, the, the curl, the white curl of hair on his chest. And of course, his lotus hands and lotus feet have special markings. But as, otherwise, that is known as Sa Rupya Mukti, the form just like a rod, the Lord. Then there is also the Samipya Mukti. Samipya Mukti is staying close to the Lord in his abode uh, and serving him. Sa Rupya Samipya Sarshti. Sasti means getting the opulence like the Lord. The Lord's opulence and the devotees. Uh, so there is these different kinds of muktis. And for the Vaishnavas, the mukti of the Brahma Jyoti is considered narkiya, hellish. Because there, there is no seva. Uh, there is no, it is bereft of any seva. Uh, if there is no seva, then even Brahma says that even if I get the Position of Lord Brahma uh, in the song Manasa Deha Deha Jo Kichu More. Lord Brahma says, Kita Janma Hoilo Ja Yatha Tuva Das Bahir Mukha Brahma Janma Nahi Muraas. I prefer to get 
the birth of an insect, yathatuvadas, meaning in the home of a Vaishnava. Bahir Mukha, my face turned away from you, or not being Krishna conscious. Krishna conscious means means saguna bhakti, uh, with full the form service. Uh, even if I get the opulence of Lord Brahma, I do not need it. Bahir Mukha Brahma Janma Nahi Murash, I do not desire that. So why did actually, I was meditating, why did Kans actually get that liberation in Vaikuntha? Whereas most of the uh, demons, except Putna, she got the position of a, of a nanny or a dhatri. And, and of course, there is two more. But they were kind of demoniac temporarily. Who are they? In the Damodar Leela, we find it is the sons of Kuber. So they actually, Jiva Goswami explains to the Gopal Champu, that they actually, when they got the liberation from the Yamal Arjun trees, they actually did not go back even to the to the uh, heavenly planets or back joining the father Kuber in the heavens, but they actually got a position in Golo as Snigda Kanta and Madhu Kanta. And their eternal service is every morning, Nanda Maharaj and the elders, they gather and they want, they, the, Snigda Kanta means soft Kanta. Kanta means the throat. And Madhu means like honey. So both these brothers had such soft, such a beautiful voice that every morning during the Brahma Murat, they used to assemble in Nanda Maharaj's uh, palace in the courtyard and they were all the Vrajvasis were assembled and they would sing the pastimes of Krishna. Just like those who know Ramayan, in Ramayan Love Kush, <coughs> they went from town to town and they sang the glories of Lord Ramachandra. They sang the whole Ramayana. So, Kamsa was also special. Although he was an offender, Kamsa in his past life was the demon Kalni. He was the son of Hiranyaksha, the twin brother of Hiranyakashipo. And he actually... Uh, uh, Kal Nemi had six sons and one daughter. Uh, those six sons actually appeared in the womb of Devaki, which Kans himself killed in Devaki's womb. And Kal Nemi himself became Kams. And also his daughter was Vrinda, Tulsi Devi, uh, Kal Nemi's daughter. So Vrindaya Tulsi Devaya Priyaya Keshavasacha. Vishnu Bhakti Pratadevi Satyavatyai Namo Namaha. Because Vrinda is so fav Krishna's favorite. Priyaya Keshavasyacha. It is said that Krishna will not even look at the most opulent bhoga if there is not no tulsi leaf on it. And, and Radharani herself gave her the, the position of, of uh, being in charge of Vrinda. And, Vrinda Devi is in charge of Vrindavan with the pastimes of Radha and Krishna and so many devotees along with Purnamasi and along with Yogamaya, the sweet pastimes, they are in charge. And so that is one of the reasons, of course. And also, actually, the six of the sons that were in Devaki's womb that were killed by him, they actually had made fun of Lord Brahma. They laughed and Lord Brahma actually cursed them to become demons Eternally, so to speak, so and then they, they asked for forgiveness, and then they the curse was minimized so that you know at least they would be born in, in the womb of Devaki, who was a pure devotee. And of course, Balram Janti is coming this Thursday, so we will find that in the past times, you find that Prabhupada mentions in his purports that, that whenever uh, when Krishna is appearing, that everything should be perfect, nice, and pure, just like in the temple. The, the, the altar, everything should be perfect. When we are chanting the holy names, if we really want Krishna to dance on our tongues, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram, we should be bereft of apradas. Should the Nam to obtain that. Uh, so, purity, clean, we have to be cleansed completely. Cheto Darpana Marjanam. We have to be completely cleansed with our consciousness. So similarly, her womb needed to be cleansed because these six were the representations of the six, Kam, Krodh, Mo, Madhya, etc. Lust, anger, greed. 
the six vices we can say so who comes and cleans them immediately lord balram who is the guru the adi guru he comes after all these six were there he comes in and he cleanses and then the womb is ready to bear shri krishna so like that that is the reason so kansa uh, got that favor because his daughter is rinda and of course being a maternal uncle uh, mother's cousin devki he had that that feeling because devki would be very sad uh, if 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 he was condemned eternally without the service of krishna uh, into some brahma jyoti and generally from brahma jyoti you fall down aruha kruchena patanti adah vimukta manena lord brahma mentions in the 11th canto that those who are mayavadis those who are nirgun uh, who have that 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 uh, a tendency to to just simply merge into the brahman etc then they will stay in the brahman for some time but because of the lack of any activity because there is lack of seva and the souls souls dharma is seva and anand and if it is bereft of seva there is no real anand no nitya anand no eternal uh, eternal bliss so then due to that hankering of seva they fall down to again back to the to the uh, uh, earthly planet or to the bhumandal and then again they have to start from scratch and until and unless a great vaishnava comes nirvishesha shunyavadi paschatya desha tarine uh, it's very difficult to preach to the mayavadis they are so set in their ways and they will never change never because their their whole goal is to merge into god to merge to become god that is the goal and when you and i are the same why should i serve you why should why should why where is that dasanu das spirit so it is like a committing theft uh, committing theft means uh, like in, in hindi we say kaam chor uh, they don't want to serve so they want to become god ah uh, these are kind of because these are the words bhakti siddhant so it happened was very particular about it when mayavadi sanyasi saw him coming they would switch the road the side and bhakti siddhant prabhu would catch him by the neck why you think krishna has no form ah uh, he would really shake them so this is our 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 and that is out of pure compassion not some winning a debate or anything uh, prabhupad wrote this poem in english on on on, on shri bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur's uh, appearance vyas puja day i think it was the last one uh, and he was in bombay godia math at that time abhay charan uh, abhay charan arvind das and there he wrote a lot of all all the happy day sweeter than heaven a uh, brighter than may when he appeared uh, in puri my lost my lord and master his divine grace when the poem reached bhakti siddhant swami thakur he was so so pleased and he showed it to everybody especially he kept repeating those lines absolute ascension dhav has proved impersonal calamity dhav has moved and uh, prabhupad was so amazingly simha guru the line guru absolute ascension uh, the supreme lord is a person sentient he is chitta he is conscious he is a person so that is why prabhu but there's no other spiritualist that i came i've studied many different philosophies in the past read many books and i've come across nobody has used this this coin this phrase supreme personality of godhead ha uh, personality that means that this is a person just like you and i we can serve each other we can serve the vaishnavas we can give them a glass of water prasad them you know we can serve that service is done through that so absolute ascension dhav is proved but this tasu prabhupad would take out shastra references and he proved it to all the mayavadis who came across him dhav impersonal calamity dhav is moved this impersonalism this nirgunvad you have removed so this is the uh, um brief summary of kansa skilling there's so much more but i will end here i think uh, I, I, that clock is not working and i uh, we have three more minutes i think to nine so if there is any questions yes prabhu ji So it's uh, of course, we can just approach the theater today. It's the 
this war on a mission. Yes. And we see this DDT campaign that obviously uh, is there, right? This group that we see in the There's some prayer and discussion, and they ask, you know, things will become normal. But then we see the little Krishna. Now, the, the Shiva Bhagavatam verse, though, that talks about this, which is the third chapter of the 10th canto, verses 9 and 10. So the same verse that says, Tatur Bhujam Shantra Gada, you know, it says these things. It starts with Tam Adhutam Balak. So my doubt is if I'm reading this verse, it sounds like he appeared as a child person with, with four arms. Do you have some insight from Acharyas or something that uh, kind of clarifies? Okay, he, he was an adult Vishnu and then became a child Krishna. He wasn't uh, as the verse seems to me. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is interesting. And uh, I, we see in the painting that he's like a little Narayana. Uh, and, and then, of course, because of the prayers of Vasudev and Devki, uh, out of pure parental love, please, if they see you, you're the enemy of, of, of Kamsa. If he sees you, he'll kill you. Please, 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 you know, pretty please become a little baby, you know, and, and that way, you know, we can, you know, um, uh, hide you or whatever, you know, with whatever methods they could. So, yeah, Balakam, Adbhuta Balakam. Adbhut means amazing. The word Adbhut means amazing. So, uh, everything about Krishna is amazing, especially when it is uh, such a miraculous thing where, you know, the forearm Narayana, he, he just simply uh, agrees to his parents' wish and he becomes a little baby boy. So, yes, uh, the Adbhut Balakam. And it, it appears that he came as a forearm from the painting, that he came as the... Of course, he's Lord Narayana, but he came in a very little mini form. But if somebody else wants to throw some light, Venkat Bhatt Prabhuji, uh, Kripa Mahi Prabhu, or anybody else on that, that's interesting. Uh, whether he was the full-fledged, you know, form of Narayana already come in a little baby version. Uh, but regardless, uh, for the immediately when the idea is that when when Kans would get, when the, when the uh, guards would inform Concert that Lord Narayan has appeared as, as you know, that would be very, very, uh, you know, uh, bad in the sense you know, the UK and Vasudev would be pained. Yeah. So I, I personally feel, and, you know, again, I'm not 100% sure that it must be because he appeared, you know, in that small form of Lord Narayana. And then he just transformed himself into the two armed, beautiful baby Krishna Vasudev. Yes. Prabhuji, yes. I don't have any, um, I don't have any results of this particular um, but similar kind of wanted to know if there's something that I had heard, kind of a, a bit of a popular idea, but I have never seen it in any writing or heard of any of the Acharya speak of it. That there's a belief that Kamsa was actually before Krishna even hunted him once, that he actually dies of fear. Oh, and so when Krishna is beating his body, he's actually already beating the dead body. That Kamsa was so he had become so filled with fear of Krishna that just seeing Krishna approach, he dies of fear. And then everything Krishna is doing afterwards is like just playing. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. No, no, Prabhuji, I don't. I'll be very honest on that. But one thing is, you know, Kansa was cursed by his own mother, Padmavati. You know, because uh, Padmavati had a, a demon uh, named Drumil. You know, actually, Padmavati, the mother of Kansa, was married to Ugrasen, King Ugrasen. But she had a, a, an affair with, or you know, according to some words, some versions, she was raped by Drumil. He came in the form of Ugrasen, her husband. And then uh, that baby came out as Kansa. So Padmavati cursed uh, that demon who came in the form of her husband that you will eternally stay in hell. And she even disliked the child so much, Kansa, they said you will be killed by your own family. She actually cursed Kansa uh, because he was Drumil's child. So and Padmavati was pretty cruel also. You know, one quick thing I, 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 you know, I would like to mention that during um, uh, the pastime in Dwarka, when all the queens gather around, 
Rohini Mata, and Rohini Mata is telling about the pastimes uh, to all the queens about Vrindavan, but Mahati comes in and she kind of interrupts and says, oh, don't even talk about Vrindavan. Don't talk about Nanda, don't talk about Yashoda. This is our boy, uh, Vasudeva, because she is claiming to be the, the, the grandmother, the figure there, right? So they didn't even give him enough food. They were giving him just roti and makhan, just some, some, some dry chapatis and just some butter, you know, like that. And they didn't even give them proper shoes. They went and worked as a laborers in the fields to, to, and tending the cows. Like this, she actually, you know, tried to uh, incite the queens and incite uh, Mother Rohini. She mentioned that, look, even if you calculate like per day, how much they, they, they stayed for there for almost 11, 12 years. And by the age of five, they were already tending cows. So for the next seven, eight years, they, they did labor. So much money should have been there. Look at the clothes. We in Autura will give them very opulent clothes. Look at them. Nandan Yashoda cannot even afford proper clothes for him. So like this, Padmavati. And then Mother Rohini said, that's okay, Mata. We know your, your dealings and how Kamsa appeared. So then she left. <laughs> they had to shut her mouth. And, and then Mother Rohini says, I know, you know, what you how you are. So please, you know, the sweetness of Vrindavan is, is extremely sweet. So, you know, we don't need to hear your katha. <laughs> so, anybody else? Nikunja Prabhu? Yes, probably. Yes, yes. You can only serve a person. Can you serve something subtle? Can you serve something that you cannot see? Can you serve something? That that is that, that that is not visible. That is completely. They say aham brahmasmi. Yes, Vaishnavas also say aham brahmasmi. I am a spirit soul. That is their definition, and I am an eternal servant of Krishna. That is a complete definition of what a soul is. Jivar Shorupoy Krishnir Nityadas. But if I if, if somebody believes that I am merging into the Brahman in the Brahma Jyoti, then finished. I mean, what is that? There's nothing to do. It's only through seva. Look at that. Everywhere we go in the temple, we find the deities, we find Krishna's pastimes right there, frolicking in the meadows. Prabhupada is also mentioning that in his, in his poem on the Jaldud. He had written two poems. When will that day come when I will be frolicking with you, my chirasati, my eternal friend? He's, he's mentioning in his poem when I will be actually rolling in the meadows of Vrindavan and we will do lutaputi. Lutaputi means... We will grab each other's lunch. Lunch is like how children behave, you know, when they get somebody, there's one kid has a nice lollipop. Oh, give me that, give me that. Or nice laddu, give me that. So Krishna does that. Uh, there's a nice by Parmanandas and Kusum Sarovar. They go in Kamya one, not sorry, in Ka, in, uh, in uh, um, Kumud one. So Krishna goes every day, you know, sits with the coward boys and then they bring their lunches, Madhu Mangal sees that, you know, he's got all those laddus and Krishna says, leave one for me. And Madhu Mangal says, no. And he's grabbing and Krishna grabs the half-eaten laddu from Madhu Mangal's mouth and he eats it. So this is Ajadadi Mitho Madana Gopal. Today, the, the yogurt is very mitho. Why? Uh, because you are personally giving it to us. And Krishna says, he actually is making Aye Pata Banaye Dona. He's making butter the, the leaves, the cups, and he's giving the yogurt that Mother Yashoda had given. And there are so many coward boys, and some did not get it. So Krishna says, Jina nahi payo, sunore bhaiya, meri hateli chaat, aaj dadi bheetho, madala gupa. And for those who did not get it, it's finished, sorry. But you know, I have some left on my palm. Come and lick my hand. Meri hateli chaat, aaj dadi bheetho, madala So no, 
So bahut din kumud basse ham kumud kumudavana. The the Gopas are saying many many days we have done these picnics in Kumudvan in the same spot, but today the yogurt is even more sweeter. Aaj dadi meetho madan abhipar. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. All glories to His Divine Grace, Rakhapat, Granthraj, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Uddhav Maharaj ki jai, Vidur Maharaj ki jai, Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Gaur. Jai. Shri Prabhupada Gurudev ki jai. Shri Prabhupada Gurudev ki jai. Hare Krishna. I'm sorry that there were listeners online, so please forgive me uh, if there are any questions or comments. Uh, but thank you all for being here. Hare Krishna. Okay.